Hello and welcome to Caravan Salon 2021. This is the equipment hall. In fact, it's one of three halls with equipment in. And in this uh, video, I'm going to break it down into two parts, not the third, the third hall. I uh, might have to do a completely separate thing on that one. But what I want to do is to show you in this video some of the things you can see as far as equipping uh, your camper van, your motorhome or whatever out with. And uh, to actually start off with, I think I'll mention this company here, Verdinger, who uh, uh, a very a company with a very old tradition in, in, in wood business. But now what they do is they make lightweight panels uh, for uh, construction. And for example, this uh, motorhome, which they've done here as an example, has been built using their uh, 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 panels, la laminates. Now, I've also, uh, for my own vehicle, actually went to their factory and I bought some of their stuff. Now, one thing was very curious. I went to their press conference. Unfortunately, I couldn't hear anything because the, it was, uh, didn't speak very loudly. But they wanted to show this. I can't understand what the point of a lectern is, but maybe somebody here knows why a van would want a lectern in it if you know then write down the answers below because it's beyond me anyway i could have asked them i suppose right other things which of course you can have within the vehicle you might want some sound systems uh or indeed you, you can my electric uh fridge now i i have electric it's not by vitri frigo my fridge comes from um uh, dometic waco but uh, this is an alternative Italian brand of fridges. Now, uh, why would you have an electric fridge uh, rather than, well, trying not to use gas uh, if possible? Uh, obviously, the electricity, you get it from the sun. It's not free because the solar panels cost money, but uh, it, uh, can, um, it can be easier than using gas. That's my opinion. Now, electric fridges do have the problem of uh, making a bit of a noise, but I think as as oh, this one here is uh, this, this, it wasn't me that broke it. It was it was like that when I came. So, uh, but that uh, you can see the also the slim build of the fridge also makes it much easier for converting, particularly in camper vans, motorhomes maybe slightly less. Other ideas you've got here, you've got these ones here which come in a drawer. So I pull the drawer out and you can see how the fridge works. Now that gives a lot of flexibility to the camper van producer. Or if you build your own build, your own camper van producer. All right, so here, um, tents and roofs. That one seems to be much more advanced. Uh, now your equipment for cooking and heating, uh, gas, we have, okay, there's stacks of people with uh, batteries. Now, last year, it seemed like everybody and the dog had batteries to offer. This year, it's a bit less. Um, Oyster do televisions, satellite TVs. You stick one of these on your roof. Uh, here, we've got some uh, panels uh, for, for construction. And uh, here, uh, oh, TV systems. Uh, uh, and BT do um, fluid, toilet fluids, and we did a video of this last year. The uh, this very ingenious uh, um, hair drying solution, very ingenious. And uh, so, Kenwood in sound systems, uh, Webasto. Uh, actually, I've gone completely off Webasto. So, uh, uh, from, from having quite a very positive opinion of the company, I've now gone to a rather negative uh, opinion. And, uh, you know, you certainly can find alternatives to Webasto, which cost a fraction of the price and have the same efficiency. Here we have some uh, batteries, for example, um, uh, batteries which are portable, and uh, certainly talk about that more in other videos. But if you have just got a van, and you, uh, maybe it's an old van, you get something like this, you can carry it to your next vehicle with you. It costs 
just a little bit more than normal batteries would cost but you can use got so much more application so uh, that's uh, that's something now here we have uh, this company has this 12 volt there you go 12 volt air conditioning I think we did a video of this last year with I did it with uh, my friend Andy Harris uh, showing this this system uh, from from Italy um, there's a number of companies which have uh, uh, offer, offer, offer catalogues with um, camping equipment. Here's one, Campi Profi. Uh, you've probably heard of others, Francana, Movera, Aimo. Right, Fiamma have, okay, before doing that, there's Pioneer, you know, sound systems. Uh, Fiamma have uh, camping products which are not particularly good quality and uh, it's uh, personally. Uh, I won't be getting anything more from theirs because it just breaks. But I um, uh, think, you know, if you're going to spend money on buy, buying cheap things, always costs more money. Right, and here we have, well, somebody has to put in the infrastructure at the campsites. And here we have an example, uh, uh, Reich from Germany. And uh, so you, the, these things, you've seen these at the campsite. You sp you put you you uh, you plug into that. Some of them you dump your sewage into them. Uh, Alde have very good uh, heating systems, very innovative, um, warm, efficient, but expensive. So uh, this is the king of comfort. Uh, Linipa here. Uh, suspension. They've also got alarms as well for gas and other things. Um, and uh, VB a con company noted for its uh, air suspension. Uh, there's a number of companies that actually do do air suspension. Goldschmidt is, is another. Uh, Tele, Teleco, it's an Italian company. It's satellite TVs, they do um, aircon um, batteries, um, charging systems, um, uh, solar. Uh, variety of things and this is a this year there's two halls and that's that's so all I'll divide it with the equipment so there you go Dometic uh, but I'll do I'll do that in a in the next video and so we'll have a look a bit more up here at what we've got um, outdoor chairs well you'd expect that you in a so you want to keep your uh, motorhome uh, you take that sort of thing in your motorhome with you Ebersprecher, who are noted for their air heating devices, uh, often more maybe associated with lorries than with motorhomes themselves. But uh, lots of people do have them. It is a, it's a, it's more, it's an expensive, it's a more efficient manner though than Webasto. Uh, uh, Master Volt, Pimp My Volkswagen, Master Volt Energy System. So these are the controllers that you often see batteries. Um, uh, they, they, they deal with um, SATCO oh, okay satellite systems okay Victron Energy here uh, a bit like Mastervolt similar line of products uh, so, so related to battery storage and the controllers which goes at um, uh, battery charging um, devices uh, quality products uh, Decaline You've probably had to use that sometime. We've all had to use it. Silicon. It's. I mean, motorhomes are glued together. The walls are glued together. Camper vans. Okay, it comes in. And they're sort of the form delivery, but the 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 uh, the the, uh, the walls are glued together, and they're glued together with something like this type of silicon or similar, and that decaline manufacturer. Garmin. I think they're quite well known. Sat nav. Um, I think do music, I think, or something like that. Uh, Lille, or Lily, water, but they do pumps, for example. Most people have one of their, put the Shure Flow, I think, is, I think it belongs to Lily, or Shure Flow is a separate company, can't remember. Uh, anyway, in my van, I had to replace the pump, and I got a, a cheap 12 volt one, which cost me 140 water, which is about 35 euros. And uh, but I've even sold them for seven euros. I thought Lord, the chances are going to break. Okay, battery solar, um, bike carriers, 
Here's another bike carrier. I can remember being amazed by this one two years ago, and I can't remember why I was amazed. Uh, electronic systems RKB, uh, Bruna do uh, chairs and a sort of outdoor um, equipment. And, you know, I see a lot of this sort of chairs and what have you. <laughs> Um, Freebird here, coated uh, aluminium. Now, if, if you're sort of a builder, you might need the coated aluminium for either decorative elements or uh, external elements, or even internal elements within, within the van. Uh, here, control systems for electronics. Uh, bike carriers, again, obviously there's companies which do the same sort of thing. Uh, which are repeated here's another bike uh, BR system now BR systems what this has it's an electronic way you, uh, of putting the bike so the, the system it comes down you put the bike on it and then it goes up it's easier than trying to lift up uh, a bicycle the uh, difference is of course though that it is uh, the back of a Fiat Ducato can probably I'm just about 50 kilos without additional strengthening so uh, for example in my case mine's had additional strengthening i put a put a cage on the back and not that i've got anything on the back we just put it on because when we built the garage again so um anyway uh what's this for smart equipment solutions okay tap some things there you are bit of solar uh, Alden makes solar uh, for vans, they have their TV systems. Uh, uh, now, I um, just wanted to word to you about, about uh, uh, Caravan Salon, so it was cancelled last year, and this year, um, the, it, it, it's, it's, it's almost as though, sorry, it wasn't cancelled last year, sorry. It was, there was a reduced amount of people at Caravan Salon last year, sorry, I'm getting, I'm now getting tired from all the stalking I'm doing. Um, there was a reduced amount of people here last year, and uh, but now it's like it's almost back back to normal even though there is a limit on the amount of people who can actually come here uh this come uh, bruno mentioned them earlier i think but they're sort of this melanin uh, they're, they're a um distributor really of other people's products uh, some bike carriers uh a chinese company uh, San John Joel plastic. I think it's Chinese or Australian. I can't Chinese, Australian, Australian, Chinese. And they do all of this sort of a kit. I mean, in a couple of years ago, they came here with only a few windows, and now they've even come in with toilets. So they're sort of uh, uh, tacking the monopoly, not monopoly, but <laughs> the, the hold of Dometic and Fetford, etc. Uh, Remy's are well known for uh, producing the, uh, blinds. Uh, and various other uh, products related, windows, etc. There you find them in the, the catalogues. They're somewhat expensive, but they are very good quality. Okay, more um, melanin products. Now, these melanin, some of them are really very similar to China. I mean, you've got to really pick it up to feel the difference. And others just feel like cheap plastic, depends on the on, on the brand. I'm not suggesting that feels like cheap plastic. I mean, it could be a very good brand for all I know. Uh, okay, these outdoor camping kits, the idea of modular uh, it, turning your car into some kind of thing you can sleep in, uh, this seems to be all the rage. Oh, here's some LED things from Italy. And, uh, oh, air heaters. Um, ele uh, solar panels and oh this company here EZA Energy Zen Alternative very interesting way of um, electrical distribution within the within the motorhome and so when you for example are using it normally for example if you're charging your motorhome battery from the engine from you know, from about 12 volts, they're getting up to full. You're looking at about eight hours driving, but they've got a system whereby it's reduced to around 90 minutes or, or, or something of that nature. Uh, XPS is used for uh, insulation in 
in motoms and in other things as well. Uh, Solbio, who have the toilet um, additive, uh, it makes it's a very, it gives a very nice smell to the toilet, and uh, it, it very successfully breaks down waste, which comes out even almost clear when it's it's thrown out, and it's completely natural. Uh, down there, we've got some more solar hydraulic systems, and you know, you never. Nobody in the history has ever parked their motorhome on the flat. It's never, ever happened. There are some safes, uh, pretty handy in the van, I would have thought. More batteries, Liontronic batteries, uh, floor heating systems, you know, doors. And uh, uh, but, um, as I said, converting your car into uh, a camper, so to speak, using these uh, boxes and other similar uh, uh, kits. Now that's what I mentioned earlier about EZA, drive your energy. So we've got some converters there as well. Uh, Castagnari, as I recall, was glass, yes. Or um, for, for showers or maybe uh, bathroom equipment. Or oh, here we have uh, uh, RXL, they make uh, um, fans and uh, they represent a can, which is uh, a, uh, um, uh, makes sinks and uh, gas uh, hobs and things, and as well as the uh, hatches. And uh, more power or Titan. I want to come back in, we'll do this in more detail later. 12 volt electrical supplies and uh, so we'll have that one in more detail later with some DC inverter cooler for motorhomes uh, well, battery charge I'll have a look at that see how see how powerful it is uh, okay furniture um, and uh, the, the the panels for making furniture uh, thermal blinds uh, which you put on the outside of your vehicle and uh, so there so cut, cut it to order I presume okay LED uh, here Horex which has some really fascinating products I think you've got the um, slide outs we've got windows we've got fly screens they also have a company which does uh, bikes which are designed electric bikes which are designed for motorhomes, so I have, might have a go on that a bit later. Uh, NDS uh, power batteries, um, solar panels. I got one of their batteries once. Um, there wasn't disagreeing with you, NDS and Bruckner, who uh, who was responsible. Hinges. So we've done videos on the past on hinges and. Uh, there's Daniele, uh, <laughs> who owns the company. <laughs> and we'll get a demonstration of the hinges that he's put into Heimer a bit later. Milenko, which um, is a sort of a UK-based, uh, I don't know, it's not a catalogue, but they do sorts of stuff for, for motorhomes and others. Uh, and satellite antennas, uh, more campsite. Kit, although I've never seen any of theirs and any of the campsites I've been in. But there you got this one here, for example. That's where you sort of dump your uh, your sewage goes in there, and you've got the electrical points as well. Uh, EN uh, equipment. Um, uh, what do you call it? These things for caravans, where you sort of put the caravan in place. Also, see some heaters, uh, doors. Um, uh, Caratech have some really uh, interesting electrical solutions for uh, oh that, I shouldn't have eaten those beans uh, gas tanks I'm always on about underslung gas tanks well there you go there's some there are some of them uh, okay plastiform they they actually manufacture the, the windows uh, water 
uh, pumps and purification. And uh, okay, more as I mentioned earlier from Horrocks. And uh, oh, there's a security glass for the expensive uh, expedition vehicles, but that uh, something like that is uh, it's much more expensive than a, a normal plastic window, but it's much more secure at the same time. And uh, furniture boards, that's a British company. Oh, mattress toppers, useful stuff. And uh, <laughs> sand profile, fortunately I don't know what they make. Oh, so profiles, okay. Uh, oh, Vettoresina, um, again, plastic and uh, building materials for vehicles. Uh, seating. Um, Ah, oh, these things are to move uh, your caravan to its correct position and... Oh, Korean companies, ship, car shipping and... Uh, ah, door systems and uh, locking systems um, uh, more kit here. Foam for mattresses. To get an idea of all these complex things. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh air. Don't know. Uh, some more solar. Here, this drive dressy. What they do upholster us in effect for camper vans and uh, what's that there effective electronic stuff now you see the thing is it's now getting towards the end of the day and people are going home now in the other halls uh, where the vans are there's uh, more interest so you know for someone like myself who finds this the most interesting part of the show then this is more I've got more time to actually uh, to see things. Mechatronic is in San Marino. Uh, so don't, not many companies there. So electronics. Our oh, MPK. My skylight is from MPK. My skylights, plural, uh, are from, from this company. So and uh, more LEDs for motorhomes and Yongan vehicle window Korea I think oh together we make happy campers happy campers with a bit of electronics inside uh, Ranger RV supply sorry I mentioned Australian this Ranger who's Australian Chinese or Chinese Australian not the other one got that wrong uh, right Moby frame heel solution heel safe uh, to be quite honest it's it, I'm not terribly impressed by this company as when my vehicle was stolen it was protected by that equipment so not uh, not likely to give them another go. Um, caravan leveling systems. Okay, so there you go. You've had a walk around this hall. This video is 24 minutes long, and it's me talking about what you can actually see here. So it sort of gives you an idea. Hey, well, I would like to point this one out though before I'm doing this. This Camos uh, camera technology. You've got in uh, 2012. I was here at Caravan Salon. I saw this technology for uh, all around vision with bird's eye and with the navigation built in. I thought, hey, that's great. I really wanted it. But I waited and waited and waited. Didn't come out, ended up buying something else. But now it is available. The, what you can see for parking sensors, absolutely incredible uh, uh, product. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, technology at uh, part one because there'll be another part I'll do that later I'm feeling quite tired I've been doing uh, rabbiting on all day so thanks very much for watching and all the best
from Dusseldorf Caravan Salon 2021.